All right. Hey, everybody. I am here with Margo and Rob Fuller. Hey, guys. How are you? Good. Hi. Good. Good to see you. I appreciate you being on. So they are with Nest Seekers International Brokerage. But the cool thing is that they are licensed in three states. So New York, New Jersey, and Florida. So that's what we're going to talk about. Margo, can you give us like a little bit of background on how like how you guys decided to be, I mean, New York and New Jersey kind of makes sense, but like how it all happened. So um, Rob started in real estate uh, many years ago in New York. Um, he was based in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And after a couple of years, uh, when we started a family, we moved across the Hudson River to Jersey City. And That's what a lot of people do, right? Yes, because... <laughs> They were being priced out of Manhattan. Um, yeah. It happened, I think, about five years ago. Okay. So we started noticing a lot of new construction coming to the area and also a lot of people uh, moving in or looking for investment properties over there to mm -hmm. flip and sell. So it was just natural for us uh, to get licensed in second state. So then I got my license in, uh, Jersey, in New Jersey. Do a and, lot of agents in New York and New Jersey have both licenses? Um, and say no on that one. No? Um, no, because here's the thing. If New Yorkers like New York, they, I, for whatever reason, there's like a cliche where New Yorkers don't go over to Jersey. <laughs> and Right? Do you, do you know, have you heard that? I don't know. Yeah, but I hear they're going to Connecticut now since COVID. Yeah, 100%. So what Mark and I did is gosh this was like three three years ago four years ago Manhattan uh, was five. Five on downhill like the the market the HOAs the maintenance the taxes so I seen my business start to kind of like downfall but we seen what was happening they were moving to the outer boroughs so that's why yeah. you know I told Margo I'm like why don't you go ahead and get your Jersey license and see what we can do I can work Manhattan you can work Jersey and see what happens so from there, it was pretty much like, you know, I would actually start to do the cold calling for her. Yeah. You know, every morning, every morning I would wake up between what eight, eight to ten, and I start prospecting. But it was a New York broker calling in Jersey. Hey, I'm a New York City broker. You know, I may have clients over there. And as soon as I said that, it started working out, didn't it, Margot? Yes. Yeah, so they were impressed that uh, you have clients, you know, wanting to move from New York to New Jersey right. and basically expand the reach uh, yeah. of, you know, potential buyers for their property because not only we can target people in New Jersey through MLS and through our contacts, we can also advertise it to New York brokers. Right. And, um, and that was uh, also... That worked because uh, Nest Seekers International is located in both of these states. Mm -hmm. So we could leverage the network of agents in our company in both states, in addition to our personal um, contacts. Uh, so that started working out really well. And actually, mm -hmm. we started doing a lot more business in New Jersey than in New York. Is that right, Rob? So are you saying you were out selling Rob, Margo? Yeah. No. Uh <laughs> I was, but he, he was doing one part um, yeah. that's talking and I was doing all the rest. <laughs> that's how my partner and I are set up too. We're licensed in Ohio and Kentucky because it's very similar to where we're not in Ohio. It's very similar to like Manhattan and New Jersey. And so I do, I'm Rob and our, and our team. So I make all the cold calls and then he goes out and seals the deal. Oh. Right. However, it, it works out, out, right? Yeah. Because New York agents, Manhattan agents, don't prospect in Jersey. Right. So when, so when you know, clients would hear that I'm a New York broker, you know, it instantly would perk up their ears. Why is a New York broker calling me in Jersey? Right. And it just, it, it just worked out. Yeah, and I guess I, I pretty much started working for Margo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's a good idea for people yeah. that have states that are close by to really take a look and say, you know, does it make sense for us to go into the state? But how did you guys end up in Florida? Florida's not close. So 
we've seen the potential in in Miami. And plus, this goes to, uh, you know, we had a two-year-old child. Mm-hmm. And I think it was, it was one day, it was snowing out, it was cold, it was miserable. And I couldn't push the stroller in the snow. And I think they raised our rent to like 40%. Like, it was Whoa. insane. <laughs> it, was, it was insane. Like, they raised our rent. It was just like a snowball effect to where we, we just basically looked at each other. And we heard what's going on in Miami with Miami World Center being built. It's like the second largest development in the nation. I don't think we've heard that yet. <laughs> uh, some, somewhere I, down I, the line. We're basically just uh, fed up, I guess, with, uh, you know. Snow. With the snow and yeah. weather. And, and we love the beach. We, uh, we used to come to Miami pretty often for a vacation. And I think, yes, that was snow, the, the stroller, um, having to stay at home uh, with the child and not being able to do outdoors things. And actually, Nest Seekers uh, just announced that they're opening Miami office mm-hmm. uh, in the next few weeks. And it was just like, everything just works out. And yeah. we're just, uh, let's take a chance and do it. Uh, we did not know much about um whatever new developments are going on here um we knew just south beach probably like majority of people Mm -hmm. uh who think about miami they think about south beach Mm -hmm. uh we did not really know that there is a huge downtown area building super fast and um it just we just took a chance and we then started seeing potential here um and so you guys yeah. moved there. Are you residents of Florida now? Yes. Okay. So we moved and we're, we're thinking, well, if it doesn't work out, we can always come back. It's not a big deal. Um, but it started working out and uh, we started noticing a lot of people doing the same move. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was pre-COVID. So it was starting slowly. Uh, people are moving from other states for tax purposes. Mm-hmm. Um, businesses started moving slowly. And then um, once the COVID started, I think it, it was another snowball effect that yeah. people start moving in masses because they, they fed up of sitting in their small well, apartment. Well, and there's a lot of movement, I would think, between Miami and Manhattan, or so, right? And back and forth. And I, I, I yeah. kind of, I, I say this like very touchy. COVID was a blessing for Miami real estate. Yeah. Um, because, and us being from, you know, doing real estate in, in Manhattan for nine years and Jersey for a couple of years, our phones won't stop uh, like ringing from New Jersey, Connecticut, and Manhattan. That's awesome. Are you going to get your Connecticut license? Oh gosh, Margo, uh, you want to- <laughs> who knows? But probably not. Um, well, I think definitely not, because uh, first of all, I know nothing about Connecticut, mm-hmm. um, and like to be honest with you, sometimes it's getting really difficult to manage all the parts. Mm-hmm. Uh, so pre-COVID, um, we used to travel back and forth like at least once a month Mm -hmm. to meet some clients uh, for listing appointments or uh, showings or whatever may be. And we had a few uh, people that we could rely on in there uh, if we're not in the area so they could do the showing. Um, But it, at one point it started to be difficult to manage really to have to travel that often. Mm -hmm. And, um, try to do a little bit here and a little bit there so i think if if you try to do that it it's easy when the states are nearby if you have to travel then you really need a good helper uh that you can rely on yeah absolutely i'd like to chime in on that a little bit um because like exactly what margo said when you're in indian or when you're in kentucky and ohio that's easy to do jersey manhattan that's easy to do um, that goes to us trying to ex- expand our team mm-hmm. where we actually have team members. And that would be amazing to bring somebody on from Connecticut onto the team 
to help us out. Because we're going to be looking for a couple of team members in Manhattan and also Jersey just to expand our team. Yeah, that so if anybody's sense. looking, they can reach out. 100%. Definitely. Well, um, what about... Two for the husband and wife who sometimes have disagreements. <laughs> That's okay. All that could be managed. So if you guys, so I, what I hear you saying that if you were going to like start over knowing what you know now, you would still make the move to Florida and do the Florida thing, but you would have set in place um, some team members in New York and New Jersey that you can count on to run the process so that you're not always having to travel back and forth. Is that what yes. I'm hearing you say? Okay. Yes, 100%. I actually had to fly to New York was at three, four weeks ago. I had somebody call me for, I'm not, I won't say the exact CrossFit, but it was in a CrossFit affiliation in mm -hmm. downtown Manhattan. They, they called me and they said, Rob, we're getting kicked out of our facility at the end of the month. At the end of the month, we need your help like now. So you do commercial and residential? Correct. We do it all. Wow. You guys are busy. So I jumped on a flight to, to New York, but it would have been so much easier to call John Doe in New York to say, hey, you know, help these guys, help them out if they were on the pool. Right. And then, I mean, when I was traveling around the world and running our team um, back in Ohio, so like if I'm in Japan and I'm running our team back in Ohio and Kentucky, I'd be like, I'll be on Zoom, set the appointment, and then I can be on Zoom and you just go there and talk and whatever. You know what I mean? It is a lot easier than it would have, I mean, especially traveling back from like Asia to Ohio, you know, <laughs> it was pretty far. Yeah. But once, once now that you guys kind of know how to do it and once you get your team members in place, it'll be really cool to see. I feel like since you guys already have that mindset, you'll start popping up the fuller group or something. We'll start popping up everywhere. <laughs> Hopefully. Also, <laughs> um, where exactly in Ohio are you? I'm in Cincinnati. Yeah, that's where I'm originally from. Hey, cool. Know, we'll talk about crazy? that afterwards. <laughs> yeah, so if, I, I grew, what's ahead. that? So I grew up on the west side, like towards Western Hills. Oh, no, no. Yeah. We well, can't you're be friends. Side, I'm I an know. insider. Yeah. <laughs> So if anybody, give us some, because I think expanding like you guys did is really a mindset. And for you, it sounds like you just were so tired of like being cold, <laughs> right? Or like, what was it? I was like, we're going to Florida and it doesn't matter. And it sounded like you had no excuses. You were like, we're going, we'll figure it out. Yes. That's what happened. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome and what do you what's your advice to people that are like getting close to that where they're tired of where they are but they don't want to lose their business where they're at but they want to go somewhere else what do you what do you say to them if you really really want something just make it happen yeah if boom everything will work out sooner or later <laughs> but you have to make, you have to make the jump you have to make the leap, the leap. yeah and if it's possible, if you're wanting to do something crazy like that, join somebody who, who's already got the team established. Yeah. Um, and that's probably the best advice I could probably give somebody is join a team who's been doing it a while and mm -hmm. learn everything from them. Yeah, definitely. That makes sense. Well, if people are interested in um, helping you expand your team, join your team, or they have a referral for you in Florida, New York, or New Jersey. What is the best way to get a hold of you guys? Um, I think email or text okay. is best. Um, so our emails are margo, M-A-R-G-O, at nestseekers.com. And Rob's is R-O-B, at nestseekers.com. Okay. That way, that way. Maybe we can have a phone number below or something yeah what's your number three four seven five eight zero three seven four five awesome well i really appreciate you guys being on thank you so much thanks for having us Bye.